So in this video, we'll be doing some simulations to understand confidence interval and alpha risk. Uh, so let's open the simulator from uh, jumps help menu. You can go to help sample data and uh, uh, in the uh, sample data index, you can go to teaching scripts, interactive teaching modules, and then click confidence interval for the population mean. So this is the uh, menu that opens up. And uh, so here, um, let's say uh, we have a population mean that is known at 100 and has a standard deviation of 15. And let's name this as uh, uh, thickness. Now, let's say uh, you randomly select uh, around uh, 25 samples uh, one mean and when you have a confidence interval of one uh, and when you draw uh, uh, additional samples uh, you, you can see that uh, from the sample set uh, 25 different samples have been uh, drawn uh, and uh, you can see that uh, this is the confidence interval uh, which has a lower and upper limit and uh, so here uh, when you draw another sample, uh, you can see that the confidence interval changes. This means that in the uh, second set of samples, uh, some of the values were different because of which the confidence interval was slightly different. So here uh, in the confidence interval for population mean in this plot here, uh, if it is green, it means that uh, it captured the uh, true mean. If it is red, it means the confidence interval did not catch the true mean. And uh, when you say 95% confidence interval, it means that uh, when you draw 100 samples, 95% of the samples approximately uh, will capture the true mean and 5% of the times uh, the true mean will not be captured. Uh, so let's reset this and let's change this to 100. And now if you draw a sample, uh, you can see that approximately uh, so in this set of samples, uh, you can see that 96 times the true mean was captured. However, there are four times uh, during which the true mean was not captured. So in this particular case, uh, the uh, confidence is around 96%. Uh, let's say you draw again. So now uh, uh, you can see that for when you draw 200 samples, about 95.5% of the times the true mean was captured. In the other 4.5% uh, of the samples, the true mean was not captured. Now let's say you change this to uh, something lower. Uh, let's reset this and let's draw 100 samples. So what this means is um, uh, when you draw 100 samples, 90% or in this particular case 92 times, close to 90% uh, the true mean will be captured. However, the rest 10% of the times or the 10 samples in this example, true mean will not be captured. So this is what the confidence interval means.